Okay, so I'm gonna just make this quick update video. This is mostly for myself. Maybe somebody else would watch it. Cool. So I'm taking some notes right now. We're trying to learn a software called ClickFunnels in order to advertise the business that I want to advertise. I'm working on some really cool programs, training programs, nutrition programs, in order to help people lose their last five to 20 pounds and even upwards up to 50 to 100 pounds, just like I did when I first started working out. When I first started working out, I went from 210 to 160 pounds in a year. And there was a lot of things that I made mistakes on. In fact, I actually got down to 180 and I was at 180 for six months. So what happened was, how did I get from 180 to 160 and I did that in two months? How did I do that? It's because I understood basic nutrition. I understood what a calorie deficit was. I understood how many calories I was intaking and I was able to manipulate that calorie intake in order to take away body fat. So let me break down why is that the case? Body fat is stored energy in your body. Calories, when you look at the nutrition label of the food that you eat, will have calories on it. You're going to consume a certain amount right, of calories. I had to move really quick. But essentially what I was talking about is that your body burns a certain amount of calories each day. You will see calories on the nutrition label of the food you eat. You'll see how many calories is in that food. If you were to go on Google and type in how many calories should I eat, you'll probably get a bunch of different calorie calculators that will come up. You can put in your activity level and it will tell you how many calories you burn. I could put a link in the description for you. I use the app MyFitnessPal. It will track your food. You'll be able to see how many calories you eat. So I highly recommend that. Now, so how is it that you lose the last 5 to 20 to 50 pounds? How was I able to go from 180 to 160? It's because I established a calorie deficit. So I found out how many calories my body burns. I began tracking how much food I'm eating, how many calories am I eating, and I was able to figure out, okay, if I can eat a little bit less than this, or, excuse me, on a day-to-day day -day basis over a consistent amount of time, you'd be able to lose that body fat. Now, depending on how much body fat you have, we'll take into consideration of how long it's going to take you to get rid of that. Usually, healthy weight loss for men is about one to two pounds per week, where women is about 0.5 to one pound per week. That's usually a lot healthier, a lot more beneficial. And we are all about the sustainability. So you see all these, you know, 14 day cleanses and these magic tricks that will help you lose 14 pounds in 14 days. It's all a gimmick. It's all a scam. They're trying to entice you. They're trying to market to you. What I'm saying is you need to actually do the scientific way of doing things, which is body fat is energy. We need to consume less energy from calories in order to tap into those body fat storage. Now, the food type, meaning the macronutrient profile, are they fruits? What kind of micronutrients are they? Are they vegetables? Are you just eating a bunch of shit for your calories? That all comes into consideration in a separate in a separate entity, depend, like depending on where your nutrition levels are. What I usually recommend is that as long as you are in a slight calorie deficit, you're eating about two servings of fruit and vegetables a day, you're getting an adequate amount of protein, which is about 0.75 to one gram of protein per pound of body weight. As long as you're following those guidelines, let's say you have to eat 2,200 calories and you burn 2,500, as long, if you eat ice cream, it's not gonna make that big of a difference. You're not going to not lose fat because you had some ice cream. That's like saying you're gonna lose fat because you're gonna eat a salad. It doesn't make any sense. So you need to know how many calories you're taking in, how many calories that your body burns, get a rough estimate, handle that over a long period of time, figure out what type of diet works best for you and you'll be able to hold that all for a long period of time and you'll find that you lose the weight. So I hope this video helped and I will catch you guys another time.